that I've got it, the new Bible from the giveaway sitting on it because one of the things that I do um, is I um, touch that up just a little bit. One of the things that I do is I go in and I um, highlight some things for y'all in the Bible. But anyway, I'm now using a Sigma Large Fluffy E50. I don't know why I feel the need to always look. I'm going straight across here, y'all. I am. So I'm going to Cashmere Bunny. Now, I've used Cashmere Bunny. It must have been in another palette because I do like that. I think there was a natural, natural eye before palette. So maybe they just redid this the same palette. I don't know. But uh, Cashmere Bunny was on it and it is the best transition color because it is a true, like, caramely tan, as you can see. So what you could do with this is be finished right now. You don't have to add a, a darker color. And I may not because I'm doing these kind of darker colors today. But what I may do instead is I may add some of these sparkleies on my lid. That's what I might do. So I'm just kind of putting it on and pulling it down to the crease, away from the brow area, to kind of blend it. And we'll blend that so everybody calm down. It's like, oh my gosh, does she not realize how much she has on? Yes, yeah, she does. Calm down. And I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil brush, which is an E30 from Sigma. Roll it because it's tapered. Definitely tap it off because I'm going underneath here. And I'm just going to connect because I've already done my liner which was the It Cosmetics No Tug Gel Waterproof Eyeliner. Can you believe I said that for once, ever, that fast? Okay. I might do I might go ahead and take the same one and go into the darker color the sexpresso really it really bothers me y'all I hate when everything's about sex and then we wonder why our kids are having sex out of marriage and so young it's because we allow this to happen we don't say anything we don't say it's bad or wrong parents never speak up or they feel they can't fight it so they don't try y'all you got to try you can't fight what is put on television because Hollywood does that. You can help to choose how much your children see of, of television. You control that hour until they're 18 years old. I did just one pass through there and I'm kind of doing this outer area. I just did get, darken it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I am still trying to have kind of a kind of a natural look. It's not going that way, is it? <laughs> And I had already done a little bit of liner because I was going to do, um, only do um, a natural look, but I may touch up the liner. I didn't want to do a big wing. I just wanted to have liner there. Um, now, I'm going to use the short shader, and I think what I'm going to do is use this erotica. But I can get it this wet. Now, you can use a MAC. Um, plus and spray your brushes. I don't. I don't. I guess I should, but I don't. It's just me using it. I don't mind mine, but. <laughs> Alright, and so I'm going under the lash with just kind of sparkly dark color, and I'm using this short shader E20, which is like a smudge brush, and that will give it just a little bit of sparkle under there. And the same dark brown. But actually, I think this is a little cooler of a dark brown. But that's okay, too. It's a very subtle thing, and I like it. Now, where's the flat shader? I don't have a flat shader. Are you joking me? You know I do. Are you kidding me? I don't have a flat shader. My finger. Next best thing, if you don't have a flat shader, is your finger. So, I'm going to use my ring finger. I'm not going to wet it, and I think I'm going to go to push up. Or should I go to this gold honey pot color? I think push up. It's a little, or, yeah, it's right there. So I'm just going to, and just look how your own finger, look, wow, that's very chunky. Sometimes theirs are, see faces are. 
but that's a pretty color. So I'm just going to put that on the lid. And for some reason, skin to skin works very, very well. A flat shader is a larger flat brush. It's just flat, like a paintbrush. And so it tends to lay this kind of a color down better. And I'm just now going to blend this up into the crease barely, just a little bit, just a little bit. Sometimes when you look up, it'll naturally do it. But also, I didn't have a clean line, so that's the real reason I did it. Go all the way in and a little on the inner corner. And then up. Just enough to blend it up a little bit. And all it does is give you a little point of interest. That's pretty. Yeah. And I'm going to keep up here matte. I'm not going to carry that on up there. I started to and I thought, no, I'm going to keep that matte. So now what I need to do is blend. And um, what would I say about this palette? I think the packaging and the colors to look at are incredible. Would I tell you to go out and buy this palette? I don't think so, and I'll tell you why. The colors are good, but I've got plenty of other palettes that have them, really. They're kind of basic now that I look at it. And I just, I almost regret buying this because it's just the nasty names. I know some of you like Beth, get over it's just names. It it I, I don't feel like it's right. I really don't. I, I feel like it, it harms our kids more than we think it does. And they don't think it does. So don't expect them to say anything. But it does. It sends a message, especially to the girls, that they've got to be sexy. I'm blending this line away right here. And you don't have to be sexy to your boyfriend. Your boyfriend should like you for who you are and your personality. And yes, if you have natural beauty, what a blessing. If you want to add a little makeup to kind of primp up a little, that's fine. But if that's what a guy wants you for, then the next pretty face that comes along or the next big beautiful body that comes along, he's going to go to that. You want him to love you for you. And if he doesn't, all the makeup and all the nasty sex talk in the world will not keep him because there will always be someone else who will do that and probably better than you, I hope. Uh, so we're just going to blend this out. See how the line just went away. So we'll say it blended out well. Just blending that line away. And that's a much more blended, kind of a more natural look, except for on the lid where we have kind of a shiny color. Y'all, I know you probably sometimes think I'm just too strong and too... Oh, I bet some of you youngins think I'm... Um, when I say youngins, I mean anybody 30 and below. <laughs> you may think that I'm old school. But you know what? I was 20, and I remember all about it. I remember my teens. I remember thinking that I needed to be sexy so people would like me. Not just the boyfriends, but the other girls I was competing with. Y'all, we should not do that to each other as women. It just really angers me that we do that to each other. Foo, foo, foo on us. We shouldn't do it. All right, so I'm going to do my eyelash curling beforehand because I am going to add back a little bit of a wing on the edge. Not a long wing. Just a little short one to make my lashes look like they go up on the end. This is a Charlotte Tilbury eyelash curler. Um, you know, eyelash curlers out there, everybody says that they're all the same. A lot of them are. I really do think this one's different, and I do think it's worth purchasing. It's not cheap because nothing Charlotte Tilbury does, but she has a lot of research and a lot of excellent packaging, and I think she goes the extra mile on just about everything that she creates. So I'm going to lift that out a little bit and curl it back towards my socket. I do hold it a little longer, I guess, than some people do, huh? Go figure. All right. See how it just pops the lashes right up? Sorry, I pinched myself. And it just, it's such a wide, it's a little bit wider of a band. Longer, easty, westy. And so it just gets all the way in to the corner and all the way out to the outer part of your eye. All the lashes. And then the band, as far as the height of it, it it's pretty much spans almost, for my eye, the, um, the height of my lid. And so it really does a good job of getting all the lashes done. Now I let some of my lashes out a little ways, and I clamp back down, and I've lifted my elbow, which curls back towards the socket more. So the first thing I did was make the L position crimp, and then I let them out a little and curled them back towards the socket. And then what do we always do? 
I'm going to have to get this. We always clean it off because makeup that's already on your eye, your eye's already moist from whatever you use to moisturizer or whatever, uh, laying a primer, and so this will get moist and it'll cake up. So always clean it right afterwards, every single use. There. Now I'm going to get my DHC Liquid Liner EX. It's Perfect Pro um, Makeup. And I'm just going to have a tiny, tiny little... There. It's all the want. Bring it all the way in, though. See, it's just a little teeny wing. And I'm barely going to bring it in right on the lash line. Just for coloring. I'm not even going to go all the way. Do you see? It's not even a very long wing. It's just going to make it look like the lashes go up. There. Oops, that one's a little too long, but I'll even it up. But do bring it all the way down to the lash line and go back and fill in all the way to the lash line. And kind of taper it out a little. Is that? That's about right. I don't think I have to fix that. There's a little skip. Just when your skin gives a little, there may be a little bit of a skip when you do the line. So just fix that. I think they're about even. This one may be a hair longer, but that's okay. What do we say about eyebrows, too? They're sisters, not twins. That's not what people say. All right, and I am going to use, I'm getting, as y'all know, pretty used to using this um, Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions in black. It is not, um, what's the word? It is not waterproof, but I feel like it does a good job of building one layer on top of the next. I'm tipping out the ends first, of course, then from the root to the tip, from the root to the tip. And what I think it does is I do think it builds um, a layer. The comb's excellent, so it comes through the product really good. It lays down a lot of product. It's very wet, so you have to squint when you're doing it like that, or it'll get everywhere, as y'all have seen me do before. <laughs> 